Welcome. This video is to provide helpful guidelines for remote workers, for call center supervisor and desktop operator. I am going to explain the administration configuration requirements and end user experience when working as a remote desktop operator or supervisor. Exit view admin configuration. This is an overview how to set up exit view user for an organization. Let's start the admin configuration. We have to log in PB exit view using admin credentials. Enter your username and password. Click to continue. Go to exit view with readmin tab to verify the exit view services status and activate the license. It should show green, connected yes. Enter your license key that you wish to activate and click on activate. Make sure you should have the internet access on your PP exit. Click on activate. You can verify your license capacity on same window. Your license key, your number of user that you wish to monitor in your PP exit, exit view window and queues that you wish to manage in exit view window. Let's continue the video to create the exit view user in user management. Go to user management tab. Click on user management. Select the user that you wish to manage in exit view application like 33. 01 is operator. Click on edit. Update the user password. And go to on exit view tab. Click on yes to add on exit view window. Submit the configuration. You can create the group policies or additional group to manage the user in exact view window like this. Click on groups, go to a PP exact internal directory, add the group, enter your group name. Exit view user, add your user that you wish to manage in exit view. Go to an exit view window, click on yes to give the access to exit view users. Submit to save the configuration. and apply the configuration. Let's continue the video to update the extension configuration and STX SIP setting configuration. Exit view extension configuration. Go to on extension. Select your extension that you wish to manage in exit view window. Click on edit, go to other configuration tab, verify your extension configuration setting, it should show yes and auto answer to void the ring on desktop operators. You can select auto answer yes or no, submit the configuration. Now we have to go to STX SIP setting. Go to on STX SIP setting to verify the public address, your PBX, click on 
external settings detect your network settings also you can verify your public IP address if you have static public IP address you can enter there and you can update the public IP address from there click on submit apply the configuration let's continue the video for firewall settings pp exact firewall configuration for exact view remote users select the firewall tab to modify the configuration click on services extra services select the internet to receive the external traffic for exact view remote users save the configuration go to an advanced setting to verify the port status make sure 58080 port should be open for remote users same port should be open for your data firewall if you are using the data firewall you have to open the 58080 port for remote users that's all for exit view remote user admin configuration let's continue the video for exit view remote user configuration thank you welcome back let's start the exit view user configuration we have to log in exit view user using the pp exit public ip address or domain id to log in in exit view simply enter the pp exit ip address or domain id as following in the supporting web browser interface enter your pp exit domain id port and is prompt you the username and password username and password as same user management module enter the username and password click to login once you log in it should show the basic widgets dashboard one dashboard one you can add the more dashboard by clicking on the plus icon and you can modify the widgets as you require to add the dashboard click on plus icon to add the widget on your dashboard simply click on big plus icon choose your widgets like queues add to dashboard to rename your dashboard click on pencil icon and rename your dashboard click on save that's all about the default dashboard and to add the more dashboard on your pb exact layout let's discuss the more about the widgets in next video exit view user configuration widgets widgets are used to provide the different functionality and customization option to exit view and users call history widgets you can see the current active calls and call history you can transfer the call you can record the calls and you can park the calls like this user widgets user widgets you can monitor the all user statics you can see the all user status voicemail widgets voicemail widgets 
exact way user can see the all voicemail details list click on the voicemail you can download the voicemail or you can play the voicemail recordings call recordings history exit view user can see the all call recording history and call details to add the more visits to your layout click on the plus icon first add to the dashboard click on the big plus icon to add the visits select the visits like customer management CRM give the name like as fails you can enter here the URL to pop up the calls based on the action like as on answer you want to pop up the URL here you can enter the URL your web CRM URL Um, plus your extension CLI and click on OK. To add the more widgets, click on the lock icon and click on new icons to add the widgets vertically or horizontally. Click again on plus icon like you want to manage the conference room click on the conference room select the conference room that you wish to manage on exit view interface like as we want to manage here 3301 conference room add there if you want to manage more conference room you can add click there select the conference room Again, suppose you want to manage the 3300 conference room. Click on conference room. To finish the configuration, to save the configuration, again click on lock icon. Let's discuss about the exit view action buttons. Exit view action buttons interact your active calls for the different activities like as the call hold, call transfer, call hang up. At the top of your screen, you can find out the action button list. Here you can see the all action buttons like an my stream, queue, conference, call, hang up, call transfer, call hold, call park. So let's discuss about the call transfer. How it work? Select the active calls and select the destination. Click on the destination number like as this, or you can select from the list, or you can search this number like this. Click on transfer to transfer this call. This call is transfer. Call hold, click on the call hold button, select the call and click on hold icon to place the call on hold. Park, click on the park button, select the active calls and click on park. Call should be park and you can monitor this call on the parking visits. Here you can see the calls that you put on hold and park by the operator, duration, CLI, lot number. Next is conference room. Click on the conference. Operator can create the temporary conference. Enter the conference name. Select the option which you want to add in this conference and select the user which you want to with add in this conference click to create
next is Q. Click on Q button. It's pop up you the new window and user list. From the source extension, you can select the user and destination queues. You can select the queue. By pressing the login, you can join the queue. Also, you can pause, set the penalty, and log out from the all queues. Exit view user can manage the temporary conference using the action button. Also, can manage his conference room or other conference room using the widgets like this. Operator can see the own conference room and participate. Call duration can do the action, can log out the user from the conference room. Also, can see the statics of the conference room. This is all about the action buttons. Let's discuss about the Exit View Extension Group. Exit View Extension Group is more organized group to manage the user. To create the extension group, click on your name, drop down the window, click on Extension Group. It's pop up view, the new window, click on plus icon. Enter the name for your group that you wish to create. Suppose I added there demo 1, click on public, select the user, which user you want to monitor in this group. I have added the three users. Click on save. Close the window, go to on search list, click there, select the newly created group. You can create the multiple extension group to monitor them and you can add the more user widgets to monitor them. This is all about the extension groups. Let's discuss about in next video for presents. Let's discuss about the exit view changing status or presents. A user can change their status in many ways through their user control panel or phone apps or exit view applications. To change the presence status, click on your exit view user, drop down the window. Select the presence status like as available away in a meeting, or you can set the custom status like this. Click on this, is open your new window, add your types like available or unavailable, add the notes, and add the names which you want to present within your group. Click on set. You can see the operator status now is updated for BC in conference. Also, you can see the other user status or presents like is these user are available. And this user is BC on another call. It shows green and the call CLI. Opter can interrupt the call by clicking on the bars in icons. This is all about the operator or exit view user configuration. We have discussed the user configuration part like is the user login, manage the layout, action button, wages, extension group, and changing status. Thank you.